Okay, so here we are. We're back in uh, our game. Checking out uh, the artificial intelligence that's doing a pretty awesome job. And what we want to do now is we want to make the ability to win and lose in this game, which shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to build off of uh, where we were working last time, inside the BP ball. So, inside of here, we're just going to set a, basically we're going to set a boolean that sets the game to be over. But we also want to print to the screen who won. I mean, it should be clear who, who won or didn't win. And I think conventionally in Pong, uh, the score goes to 11 uh, when, before you, you lose or win. So we'll also set up a check for that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. What I'm going to do is we're going to start on the, uh, this guy right here. Great. So we're going to drag off from here. Oop, not the whole thing. And we're going to make an if statement. If. We want to do if the right player score is greater than 10, which means it would be 11, then print out a message to the screen. And you could do more with this with like a, a menu or something, but I just thought this was an effective little way to print out the message to the screen, just for people who weren't sure if they won or not. And we'll just do uh, right side wins. Ooh, okay. Cool. Grab all this. Copy that down one. What happens if the other side wins? Side side wins. Left side wins. Pull off this guy. Grab in this one. So now it's checking. If that side uh, gets to 10, if this side gets to 10, and print out the message. Let's just make it 2, and we'll see if it says something about that in the actual screen. You'll see what this does. Let's we'll let him get over here and oh, he got a point in. And two and three. Left side wins. Cool. So the same thing would happen if I get on the other side, but as you know the AI is very smart. <laughs> So I'm going to just take my word on that one. So we set it to 10, but whenever it gets to that point, it prints out a message. That's good, so we know who wins. Now, we can go into our variable. We'll create a new variable, boolean game over. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to check if the game is over. And if it is over, then we want to change, we want to we want to do a couple things. So right now, I'll just grab it from here and we'll do set b game over. Set that to true. Copy that down to here. And there we go. That's all we need for this section. So we're setting our game over boolean, and it is in fact working. Look, it looks good. So what do we want to do? We want to check and see if that happens, if that game over occurs at any time. Uh, we could we could continue building off this, but this is getting a little long. So why don't we just put a check at the top here? Uh, we'll put it on the uh, event tick. We'll drag this guy up here. Push this up. And on this guy, we're going to check and see, uh, is that game over actually in, in place? Is it, has it been game over, or is it not game over? If it is game over, what do we want to do? Well, first we want to stop the ball from moving. That makes sense, because we don't want the ball to continue moving, or it's essentially like the game's still playing. We'll let the paddles continue to move, because that's kind of cool to just have you able to, you know, do like a, almost a little like victory dance with the paddles once you've won. Uh, then we want to put a delay on this. A couple seconds, that way people can see the score and what happened, you know, why they lost or why they won. Give them a little time to take it in. And then, uh, pretty straightforward, we're just going to go ahead and check and see um, if there's a... Uh, <laughs> oh, we, we can just go ahead and restart the game. That's as simple as it gets. How do we restart it? You just type in open level, and we're going to type in the name of this level, which I believe is P1 main. Is that correct? In fact, it is pretty cool. So now we've got it so it totally works. Let's go in and make it so that when one of these guys scores one, greater than one, so it's when they hit two, all that comes through and then the game should restart. So that happens and then some stuff happens. It hits one and then what happens when he hits two? He's gonna win, he's gonna win. Left side wins. Three seconds and then the game restarts. Awesome exactly what we want to have happen. Same thing would happen on the other side. In this case, it just restarts the game, sets the ball to the center, and I don't know if you notice that, the ball is centered in the middle, and then the game continues on, which is exactly what we need. Great. 
So I think that's a pretty good stopping point. Uh, this is a little bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to implement the actual scoring, or actually the game over system. And uh, that's pretty good. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Uh, like, favorite, or like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, support me however you can if you uh, appreciate this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you.